Yo, what's up guys, it's Kobe, and if you haven't noticed, I've been pretty busy lately, got my final exams and projects and all that crap, so unfortunately I have not been able to make a video for you guys, but luckily my friend OG Walrus gave me permission to upload one of his videos, so big thanks to him. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and if you do, remember to smack that like button, and also check out his channel, link will be in the description, just a really cool dude with a bunch of awesome videos, so go check him out, and I'll see you guys soon. Peace. What's going on guys? Walrus here. Thanks for tuning in and thanks for subscribing. How are you guys doing? I'm doing great. I'm doing really good. Thanks for asking. <laughs> anyway, this is uh, some 6v6. It's kill confirmed. We're playing on one of my favorite maps. This is standoff, obviously. And I don't know about you guys, but I am really excited for the new DLC that's going to drop here in the next couple of days, especially to get my hands on that Peacekeeper. Let me know in the comments section what you guys think about uh, the new weapon DLC. I am, like I said, I am, I'm really excited. And uh, let's go ahead and get into this thing, shall we? So this gameplay is... This, I think this is one of my best gameplays. I'm really proud of it. I hope you guys enjoy it. And that's pretty much going to be the focal point of this commentary. And I really want to highlight the score streaks that I'm using and the manner in which I go about um, I go about getting them. And right here, you can see how close I am to, to actually getting that first stealth chopper. And one thing that makes this, this gameplay particularly special is the fact that in this one game, I run through these score streaks four times. And I think that's pretty damn impressive. <laughs> So, obviously, uh, using the MSMC and right here playing, uh, playing, I'm playing cautious. I really don't want to get screwed by running around a corner or rushing into a situation. And I was really hoping that one of my teammates would drop a UAV or a counter UAV and give me that extra edge, if you will, as far as uh, as far as getting to this first this first stealth chopper. And for six v six, this particular score streak setup is absolutely ridiculous. And right here you can see on the, the mini-map, the spawns just flipped. I know they're spawning right outside of this building, so I'm going to wait here patiently, cautiously, and shoot somebody in the back, as dirty as that sounds, pick up a tag, and then start playing it more aggressively like you can see. Just after I go ahead and reload, here we go. And this is a pretty decent little drop shot to pick up the first escort drone. But, I mean, you can make an argument, you know, Walrus, you're out of your gourd. I mean, obviously the most effective setup for high kills and a high score has got to be the Lodestar, followed by the, the K9 unit, and then the Swarm. Well, yeah, maybe for Ground War. I mean, that's that's a great argument for Ground War, but for 6v6, the majority of us, and that's pretty dirty with that C4 right there, but for the majority of us, it's not. It's going to be extremely challenging to cycle through the Lodestar, the K9 unit, and the Swarm in one game of, uh, of 6v6. It's just, it's, it's not that easy for the majority of us to do. Now, where the stealth chopper, the VSAT, and the escort drone are placed in in the in the tier of score streaks that they're in, once you get that first stealth chopper, like I said, it's it's almost it's almost guaranteed for you to run through this particular streak streak setup and kill confirmed at least two or three times in a game. And you can see right here, getting back to some Modern Warfare 2 tactics and just letting the streak do its work before um you know before I go about my business and get aggressive. And that's just simply smart. That's a smart playstyle to incorporate. I mean, if you're if you're the type of individual where you have no patience and you have no awareness and you're just going to run around all over the map with your head cut off when you're, you know, a few points away from your next streak setup, you're really doing your score, your teammates and yourself a disservice by doing that. And there's nothing wrong despite what some idiot says <laughs> as far as, you know, as far as ha you have to move the entire game. No you don't. You can you can be patient and you can pick your moments and utilizing your streaks to the best of their ability in terms of the stealth chopper and the escort drone I mean the escort drone is really designed to follow you around and to offer assistance so why wouldn't you utilize that why wouldn't you put that into into practice in your play style by like I'm, what I'm doing right now I mean, my my stealth chopper is gonna start doing some work and then it's gonna get me to the next VSAT once that VSAT goes off it's going to um, you know it's gonna give me a bunch of assists from my teammates and picking up tags and then my escort drone as soon as I set that thing off I'm gonna get aggressive again and that's really a smart way to play and you're gonna notice that if you incorporate that into your style you're gonna notice that your score goes through the roof um, you, you're gonna get a lot of kills and you're gonna be a good team player so um, anyway let's go ahead and get into my into my particular class setup that I'm running this game so obviously using the MSMC I do have the silencer attachment on it and I love 
using a silencer on pretty much every single weapon that I use except sniper rifles. I've also got the extended magazine on this submachine gun, and right here this is a really stupid play. This cost me an unnecessary death. I just rushed into that situation and, and didn't really think too much about what I was doing or, or even pay attention to the VSAT and it cost me a death. So anyway, there you go. Um, the primary perks that I'm using in the tier 1 slot are Ghost, which is fantastic because I'm not using um, I'm not using a launcher to take out uh, UAVs, and I'm playing solo, I'm not playing with the team, I'm not even communicating with them, so I don't know if anybody in this lobby is, is actually taking out air support or UAVs or counter UAVs. So Ghost is a great choice when, when you're just going to play solo. Um, I'm utilizing the Greed Wild card, and I've got Hardline on. I find more often than not, I tend to, in certain circumstances, overanalyze the situation, and it'll cost me a death when I'm you know, 10, 15 points away from my first streak, and that's really frustrating. So utilizing Hardline is a great idea if you're, if you're like me and you, you tend to get into a situation where, especially if you play 6v6, there's a lot of action um, in some circumstances and then all of a sudden it just dies down and you have to basically look at the circumstance and situation that you're in and decide, okay, do I want to push in? Do I want to relax? Um, you know, what am I going to do? Should I reload now or wait? And so Hardline is a great choice. This is kind of a funny situation here with the flashbang in just a second. I have no idea how I make it out of it. And it's just, um, <laughs> it's just one of those games where everything right here, everything goes my way and uh, really, really fun. So third tier perk that I'm using is extreme conditioning. And then if you match that up with uh, the combat knife and... Um, and if you want, you, may, you can even, even go to go to lightweight if uh, this if the situation calls for it. And if the lobby's all right to use that to use that perk, and you don't need really need to rely on ghosts so much. But it is great utilizing the combat knife and extreme conditioning as soon as the game starts and getting yourself into position first in a high traffic area so that you can pick up a couple of quick kills right off of the bat if you're if you're really smart and how to play the map or you know if you are um, objective oriented and you know you know where you know where a hot spot is going to be in terms of an of an objective getting to that spot first utilizing your combat knife and extreme conditioning and in some cases lightweight if the situation in the lobby is okay with it um, it's great obviously you're gonna pick up a couple of quick kills just because you were the first one there ADSing aiming down your sight and you're able to pick up a, pick off a couple of enemies right away and then um, you guys know how how frustrating it is to get hit with a flashbang I mean it sucks and that's why I'm using flashbang uh, second perk that I'm using is a uh, scavenger and my lethal piece of uh, and or lethal piece of tactical apparatus is a c4 you just saw me use it right there and I run up I run up the stairs here I'm looking for the tags like a, a chicken with its head cut off and I miss it and I'm thinking what the heck is it an invisible tag where'd it go and unfortunately my teammate comes in a little bit too late but game is coming to an end hopefully you guys enjoyed this uh, this gameplay the commentary if you did please do me a huge favor click that like button thank you so much for all your support on my content final score you'll see here in just a second is 53 and 4 not too bad and I had a lot of fun with this game. More videos and content is on the way from me. Let me know in the comment section what you guys would like to see next. I am working on an ultimate class setup guide that will focus on the lower score streaks for small to mid-sized maps. That will be great for uh, stationary objective game modes such as Domination, Demolition, and Capture the Flag. A couple of videos that you guys, guys may have missed are on the screen right now. Make sure you go by and check them out. More content is on the way from me. You guys are amazing. Thank you so much for all your support, and I will talk to you later.